Zach. We're all nervous, guys. Zach, uh, we all believe in you. And Thank you. Uh, <laughs> we'll tell your family that you love them. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back to PlayStation Underground. Justin here along with Kristen and Zach over to the side. He's in the cockpit of Wipeout Omega Collection, hey uh, which just got a new VR patch. So he's playing uh, Wipeout Omega Collection in PlayStation VR. He is the brave test pilot <laughs> on today's episode. I'm a Zach, little nervous, guys. Zach, uh, we all believe in you. And, Thank you. Uh, <laughs> we'll tell your family that you love them. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead and hit the, hit the gas, man. Floor it. Let's, all right. Let's get this Activating my uh, little got. cockpit shield here. Let's see what happens. Blast off! Oh, oh man! <laughs> Let's see if Zach can perform better well, than I did when I tried to play this game. Oh boy! Which it's, was although you were saying that you didn't play it in VR. <laughs> no, but I did the underground for the uh, flat version of the game, the non-VR version of the game. Whoa! Uh, whoa. Oh my whoa. God! <laughs> How did that whoa, feel? Well, um, you know, it felt it felt like uh, kind of when your stomach drops in a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, it, it, describe how this is all hitting you right now, man. So, um, this is uh, really kind of my first time playing this in VR. Uh, we just did one little like test match uh -oh, uh, before playing here. And honestly, I am surprised that I am not more, whoa, uh, that I'm not more thrown off <laughs> uh, um, by just the speed of the game. Like, I, th I think somehow they've managed to do a great job of capturing uh, <laughs> The speed of Wipeout in VR without yeah. making it seem like your like brain is about to explode. Yeah, yeah um, that was a that was when they announced a PSVR patch for Wipeout Omega Collection. I was like, really? Like they're gonna do that? They're gonna go there? Like okay, like I, I'll let other people play that and I'll see how it goes. But it sounds like it's actually uh, pretty comfortable to play. Yeah, yeah they haven't. They've done it. They've done a couple. Oh, Whoa. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, They've done a couple of really smart things related to um, kind of like how your your camera stays horizontal to uh, the cockpit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that that helps a lot. There, there's a couple other you. options that you can tweak in regards to that, but the default option is surprisingly comfortable. Now, are you using your shoulder buttons to do the, the bank turns and all that fun stuff? You know, I am uh, doing my best. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm trying here. So I think um, some of those small, those quicker turns, you can use the shoulder buttons to kind of shift your ship over. Yeah, the, the air brake left yeah, and right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, sorry, guys. Zach, not, you're doing great. Not doing my best. You're doing great. We believe you. Thank you. So this update is for the entire game, correct? Yeah. For, yeah. for everything included in the Omega Collection. Yeah, is... you were saying there's some new ships, I think, too, right? I think I, I read on the uh, PlayStation Now blog Ooh. that <laughs> there are three different ships, um, and I think there's a mode that you can even go inside of your own ship and sort of see the inside of it. Uh, oh, yeah. So I think cer certain ships, uh, the they have the fully built at. out cockpits there. Uh, yeah, so we're seeing some photo mode here. Uh, this this looks crazy. W what's it look like in there, Zach? I'm able to kind of like tweak the camera however I want here and then look yeah, around yeah, the yeah. environment um, in 360, which is really cool. Yeah. And Wipeout, I mean, just looks so stylish, so yeah. amazing. Uh, so photo mode is a natural fit. Being able to just like kind of freely look around and move the camera by moving your face, that's that's pretty cool. It's like real life. Yeah, absolutely. Should we uh, should we jump into a 2048? Let's let's yeah. try one more. Yeah, I, I I want you to have a chance to redeem yourself. Well, uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> Justin Novice is the lowest AI difficulty. Uh, okay. Game. What about the the class and everything? Was it, well, A Sweet class, test. I think that's uh, we want. We want the fastest okay, class, right? Okay, yeah. The fastest class. Okay, go A plus. Do it. Do it. Yeah, why not? Um, whoa. Uh, not gonna do that. Soul. <laughs> um. You don't want to race on the surface of the sun. I mean, it sounds fun, but I don't want to spoil that for the for the viewers <laughs> at home. Um, oh, yeah. So. These games are so cool. I am. I'm super impressed by how well this works, and uh, as I, I think you guys noted, this is for the entire game. Yeah. Um, so it's a free update if you already have the Wipeout Omega Collection, which is pretty incredible. Yeah, you can play through the whole thing in VR. It's not certain races. It's not certain certain vehicles. It's the whole dang thing. And I should note, even though you know I've been defaulting to, uh, let me shift on my cockpit here. Um, I've been sticking in the cockpit oh, cool. mode for the, all of this, but you can also play another kit. Oh, oh, wow. Look at that. So. How does that feel comfort-wise versus the cockpit view? You know, uh, it's not my preferred way to play. Um, 
it's it's interesting. You prefer and being in the vehicle. I prefer being in in the vehicle. In some ways, um, it feels a little bit faster when you're actually in that third person yeah. view. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if that because that seems like counterintuitive, right? Yeah, um, well, it's probably because of like the, the uh, field of view and all that. Right. Oh, Ooh. God. Sorry, this is a very pathetic performance here. I you're swear. Doing, you're doing great. Thank you. You're the one in the cockpit, yeah. not us, so we can't complain. Exactly. There we go. Do you play Do you play cockpit view in regular racing games outside of VR, or is it just VR that makes you want to be in there? Um, you know, I do. Uh, I. Usually I'm in like what is it the bumper cam or whatever. Oh yeah. Um, but it's when, sort of a cockpit view. It's sort of a cockpit just without the cockpit, right? Yeah. Um, but actually having those instruments, I mean, we we tried this when we did the Gran Turismo Sport uh, kind of VR mode. Um, but some, I, I mean, probably no surprise, but being in VR and being able to kind of see those instruments right in front of you, whoa, whoa. <laughs> um, really feels cool. So I'm gonna um, say you meant to do that. Uh, absolutely. That, that seemed like a, like a weird kind of shortcut. Come on, Zach. Oh, Can, come you on. You're in first place. We believe in you. Don't lose it. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> we have to finish strong. Come on. Uh, I'm almost there, ah. yes. All right, help, help me out here. I'm channeling my energy <laughs> towards Zach. Take my power. Uh, you can also, I should note, um, you can do the look behind in VR. Whoa. Oh, oh uh, getting risky. <laughs> useful for... Uh, seeing you. Yep, seeing you. Oh. competition is behind Wow, you. Did, did I just... You fired oh. a missile at the wall, yeah. Okay, cool. Casual. Great, that's exactly just, what I meant to do. Just asserting your dominance over thank the competition. Thank you, thank you for confirming, Justin. Um, <laughs> and... <laughs> new lap record, wow. That's nice. pretty shameful. Uh, so, Justin, you, you've been a Wipeout fan for a long time, right? Oh, yeah, since, I mean, it, I wouldn't say I'm like a hardcore fan, but I've been playing them since day one, uh, just kind of check out the new ones when they come out. And it's such a such a consistent series. I love Wipeout because you know what you're getting when, when you get a Wipeout game. Yeah. And it just never gets old. It feels so good to oh, play. Oh, man. How did that <gasps> feel? <laughs> yeah. uh, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Um, you know, in, in some ways, I mean, those first Wipeout games were really some of the first games to give you kind of that fluidity and that sense of speed um, in kind of a 3D uh, format, right? Yeah. Um, and so in some ways, it's kind of interesting to look at this as kind of a parallel to those first Wipeout games as far as Ooh. just like capturing this sense of speed in what is essentially like a new medium, you know? That's a good call, yeah. Yeah, you're totally right. And, and you know, it's, it's a testament to uh, the developers that like, this, in many ways, feels like it. Like if if someone, you know, strapped me into this and I'd just waken up, uh, you know, after being asleep for many, many years and didn't know that this collection existed, <laughs> I would have thought that this was a kind of from the ground up uh, VR game, which yeah. obviously it is not. It looks it looks great. I can't wait to check it out. I'm gonna go home and play it tonight. Um, so I think we're we're coming up. Uh, there we yeah, go. Yeah, look at that. First place. First place. You got him. You totally On redeemed yourself. Expert yeah. difficulty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the hardest track. Nice, nice job, Zach. Um, Thank you. So that's Wipeout Omega Collection. That's out right now for PlayStation VR. The uh, Sorry, it's out for PS4, and there's a PSVR mode built into the game now. It's a free update if you already own the game, so go download it. Check it out. Um, Zach, thank you so much for braving the wilds of Wipeout Omega Collection for us. Thank you. Kristen, thanks for co-hosting. Yeah. And we'll see you next time on PlayStation Underground. PlayStation.